the testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. This is Quick Hits. Uh, we're going to start doing two shows a day. I'm sorry about yesterday's show. I was having an audio issue. Apparently, there was no sound. I'm going to re-record that show tomorrow as part of my two shows. Uh, but today, we're focusing on uh, two shows on kind of one topic. Um, we're going to talk about the Jazz of Dickens and uh, Kid Galahad fight. Um, this is going to be unpopular. Um, this is going to be a little bit of a hot take, but I am uh, taking Jazza Dickens to win this fight. Um, that's, uh, you know, he's an underdog. Um, Galahad, a lot of people think, won this belt already in his fight with Warrington. It's a very close fight um, that, uh, you know, I, I, I had Warrington winning. Okay, we had Warrington winning. Um, but it, it was reasonable to have it the other way. I think probably more people than not had it for Galahad. It was a very close fight that we scored uh, very closely for uh, Warrington. Um, but Jazza Dickens has lost a few fights early in his career. Um, he lost to Galahad. He lost to Rigo, Gamma Rigondeaux. It's not a big deal. I mean, Rigo is one of the, the great 122 pounders. It's not a big deal. Um, and he lost time with Patrick Ward. So, I mean, he's only lost to good fighters. He hasn't lost, in, you know, and, and that, you know, the, the, the Rigo fight was a while ago. The uh, Kid Galahad fight was seven years ago. You, you can see that um, Jazz Dickens has the skills to win this fight. And we're going to get into exactly how he wins this fight. Okay, how does he reverse this? And then to, on the later show tonight, we're going to recap um, their first fight. I'm going to tell you what Jazz needs to do differently. Uh, what Galahad has to do differently, what Galahad has to do the same. Um, but let's get into Jazz Dickens, because he's got the skills. Um, there's a reason why he was a highly touted prospect. Um, and I, I, I think he can reach the potential that he was supposed to have. Um,
we're going to be doing two shows a day. So we're doing this one. I'm going to upload. Uh, they're going to come back real late tonight and do one uh, on breaking down the fight, what Dickens has to do differently, and, and what uh, Galahad has to do. Uh, so I'm going to break down for both for both ways. I'm going to lo- upload that late tonight. Um, and then tomorrow I'm going to do a show on Ryan Garcia and Manny Pacquiao, which is the show that apparently there was no sound, and I'm going to take it down. I'm going to redo that show. I'll let me know what you guys think. Um, but like and subscribe. Follow me all form of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's the kind of content you want. You want two shows a day. You know, I'll take suggestions, whatever you guys want me to do, I will do. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Um, it is February 5th, 2021. Ivan Calderon, um, Iron Boy is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. That needs to change. Let's get uh, Iron Boy in the Hall of Fame for 2021. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.